Hi everyone, welcome back. If you do not know, my name is Devin here on my channel. I cover all things beauty that includes makeup, fragrance, and designer here and there. If you think that is something you'd be interested in, then I hope you stay and subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to click the notification bell so you're notified every week when I upload. And in today's video, we are talking about another brand new Victoria's Secret collection. This time, this is going to be the Midnight Heat Wave collection, you guys. I'm so excited. The packaging on here is gorgeous. So I'm so excited to play with this. I haven't smelled any of these. So yeah, if you guys are interested and want to hear my thoughts on this brand new collection, then just keep watching. All right, guys, so I'm excited for this collection, but I'm also a little bit thrown off. So as you all know, Victoria's Secret always has like their scent notes on the back, but it's mainly like a little random description. So I like to go on the site and read like their description on here. But what I'm reading versus what it's seeing on the actual bottle is throwing me off. So I'm going to show you guys. So this is the first one is a wild neroli. Okay. And it says the fragrance type is a zesty floral. The notes are fresh lime and coastal jasmine. On here, on the bottom, it says bronze, amber, and salty air down here at the bottom. So I am not understanding like what that is about, okay? But we're gonna go ahead and spray her. Um, I do like Neroli. I have always had a, you know, Neroli doesn't do too bad for me. So we're going to go ahead and spray her. Oh, she's strong. Oh, she's strong. So I don't get any type of lime in here. I thought it was going to be something very zesty, a little citrusy. I don't get that. All I'm getting is a white floral. It's not bad but it's basically a floral fragrance. Now, it says bronze, amber, and salty air. I kind of get this like slightly saltiness in here, but it's mainly a like white floral type of fragrance. If you enjoy white florals, I think you will enjoy this one. It is extremely, extremely strong. It's not bad. Now, is it for me? I'm not gonna say that it is because I have like this love hate with florals. So we shall see. That might be one I have to play around with on my skin, but it's definitely strong. All right, this next one is called Neon Tropic. Okay, it says fragrance description. It's a juicy watermelon and tiari flower. It says on here, bright bergamot and sandalwood. So yeah, all right. So we're gonna go ahead and spray. You guys, this one don't smell like nothing. Like I, sm I smell a lot of alcohol. That's what I'm getting. This is one of the first um, Victoria's Secrets, I've had in a while where I smell a lot of the alcohol on here. I smell a hint of watermelon, like a hint, a very, 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 very light watermelon. Let me spray this one on my hand to see. Yeah. Oh, this is disappointing. I smell watermelon. I do get the watermelon, but it's not it's not super, super strong. Do get something like slightly bright. So like a little zesty, that bergamot, I kind of can get a little bit of that, but I definitely get a like sweet, zesty, slightly like watermelon. So it's very fruity in my opinion, it's very fruity, but it's not strong at all. I don't know if it's just, like a bad like I got a bad fragrance but it's not strong at all like I feel like it's disappearing off my skin almost immediately and that's kind of sad yeah like I have to smell extremely hard to get it I don't know about this one you guys this one is probably the biggest disappointment so far out of those two so we're gonna go to the next one, which is Electric Mango. I love the um, 
colors on this bottle. It says on here that the fragrance description is a juicy pineapple and salty driftwood. And this says exotic guava and passion fruit. So we're gonna spray her. Ooh, this is yummy. Mmm. Okay, this one is fruity. This one is fruity, juicy. This one is good. Definitely number one out of those three, out of the three, yeah. This one is good. Very, very juicy. I get that pineapple. I get a hint of this guava in here. I love guava and fragrances. You don't really get too many of these. So this smells divine. This is stunning, actually. Oh yeah, this is juicy. This is fruity, juicy goodness. Like this is heaven in a bottle. This is summer in a bottle. If you love extremely fruity fragrances, you're gonna love this one. This one is good. All right, at least one out of the three I'm enjoying, okay? All right, so we're gonna go ahead and talk about this last one. This is Sizzling Vanilla. Now, if they mess this up, y'all know how I love my vanillas, but it says, coconut milk and sugar cane. It says this uh, fragrance description is a warm gourmand, notes of sugared mango, coconut milk, coconut milk and sweet musk. All right, doesn't, doesn't sound like vanilla to me. Why would you call it sizzling vanilla if it was a sizzling coconut? All right, all right, y'all. It's not bad. It's giving, it's good. It's nice, it's sweet, creamy. I get like this little milkiness from it. This one is nice, this one is nice. It's giving ice cream bomb pop or something. Like it reminds me of a bomb pop and I feel like somehow this smells a little bit, not a lot, but a little bit like a bomb pop. It's like sweet and creamy. Okay, okay, I like this. These two are my favorite out of the four. Hands down, I can pick these. These two are definitely my favorite. I don't know which one I like most as of yet, but those are definitely my favorite. These two are not my favorite. I wanted this one to be good so bad because I don't have a lot of stuff with watermelon in it, but I love something nice and fruity. I love bergamot. Like the woodiness takes over on this, like it dulls it down. It's not bright. It's not, it, it's no, this is a no for me. I'm sad about it because I really wanted to love that. But you know what, if I'm being honest, most of the time when I do these collections, I rarely keep all four of the scents. I really, really do. Two scents are usually the most, maybe sometimes three depending, but I rarely keep all four because it's always something in the collection that I just don't love. Um, I wanna put this wild neroli on my hand really quick. Cause I wanna see what this, it's giving white floral. Yeah, no, it's, um, it's not bad. I don't know that I need to keep this though. We're gonna see with this one, but Neon Tropic is definitely a no and the Wild Neroli is just, it's not my favorite. So I'm actually more disappointed in this collection than I was the previous collection. I really thought I was going to love all of these because the bottles are beautiful and the scent notes, like it made sense to me. Oh yeah, that is sad. Um, So yeah. Now, also, just so you guys know, I am doing a Victoria's Secret haul as well today. It is going to feature both of these collections as well as some other things. So be on the lookout for that. But yeah, that is it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I want to know if any of you picked up these fragrances and what are some of your thoughts? Yeah, so that is it. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in another video. Bye.